I'm a one and done. I'll come once every three days, I think. So you didn't feel the anxiety of like if you um, had sex early in the day that you didn't have to do it again that night? Because did you leave that night? No, no, no. I, it does relieve. It does. It's it, it's nice. It's nice. To, sometimes if I have sex during the day, I'm like, we'll do it again tonight, too. Did you didn't feel that she had that vibe? <laughs> well, I think I hit it pretty good during the day. <laughs> all right. You know, I think I did a good job. I did all my business, and I think she got her business in. So I think she was good, too. If she didn't have an orgasm, I'd be like, maybe we got to do it again. Right. Nicely done. Yeah. But I It just, took a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you you felt after you were done, you were like, oh, I won't have to do this again tonight. Yeah, that's how I felt. What if she would have been into it? I would have said, uh, okay, but you're not going to get any juice from me. That's what I would say. You know what I mean? Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good today, feeling fresh, feeling happy, I think. I don't know. You look beautiful. <laughs> you look great, too. Andrew Collin is here, everyone. What's up out there? What's up, the Collin heads? No wow. one's a Collin head that's not a new... Th- that's Puddle not a- faces. Okay, there we go. Pu- uh, l- listen, okay. what do you call your listeners? You have a podcast called Puddles with Andrew Collin. I want them to call themselves whatever they want, because it's about them, and I'm just a man I of the people. I hate this. I hate okay, whatever I'll you're doing. Okay, I'll stop this vibe. I'll stop this Anya Marina's here as well. It's Monday, so <laughs> Anya's always What's on the show on Monday. What's up, Collin Nights? <laughs> What's yeah. up, Florida? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> what do you call your fans? The colonites. No, um, I, oh, colonites. I get it. I think colonites should be your fan base. I don't like Mennonites. Mm, I think it's no one thinks it's of his cult. name as Colin. Colin, like I don't. It's and, more Andrew. I mean, I call them puddleheads to mm, be honest, like but that's a different heads. podcast, and I don't want to bring, I don't want to merge, you know. Yes, you do. Okay, puddle, puddleheads. What's up? <laughs> yes, there? you do. What's you have up? a podcast called Puddles with Andrew Collin, and um, you have a lot of fans from it. You got recognized the other night. <laughs> that, that was, was so awkward. exciting. That was weird. Why was that awkward? I don't, I don't know. understand. Because I, I, because I don't want to be rec. Can I be completely real? Yes. I feel like when I, if I'm recognized and if you weren't recognized in front of me, I feel like that your fame level is higher than mine and that I feel like that, 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 uh, enjoy it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it was cool. These two girls, like he was, but you even... have told me that if I get too famous, you're going to fire me. Yeah, that's true. But so like, do that you see the dilemma? Two girls at the stand are not too famous. And by the way, I'm not going to fire you. You're going to leave me because you'll be more famous. That's the natural progression of things. And I'm, I'm, I'm can't ex- wait for that day. So keep the fans a coming. So how many, do you, how many girls got to come up to me? I don't know. You you'll, fire me? you'll, I won't fire you, but you'll leave. Okay. I think once so, you get so enough girls? fans and are making your own money and making better money than I can give you, then it will part ways. Yeah. Right? What? I just can't see it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me being successful or no... you can't see us parting no, ways? No, I can see it. I think like Dane Cook will cherry pick you and go, remember that time we bonded over you touching your face And pay too you much? $150 <laughs> per weekend? Ooh, <laughs> we got but dirt. it's exposure. It's exposure. Yeah, that's true, but I, no, Dane Cook's not gonna poach him. Um, no. But although maybe you would go on the road with Dane Cook if he, he called you up. Who would you leave me for if oh, someone man. There's Segura like... in a fucking heartbeat? You would go open for Segura. No, but you're more loyal to me than guys would be. Yeah, uh, okay, so if Tom Segura offered you exactly what you offered yes. me straight up. Yep. So long, Nikki. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Later, bitch. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I really, I, I like our, I like our relationship. I like yeah. our dynamic. It's gotten better. Do you still yeah. nap on the couch? I do. I was told this morning I have sleep apnea. Uh, by who? My my nurse girl that visited me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeing someone. Uh, because you yeah. wake up and you go. <gasps> yeah. Every like ten, every night. ten seconds, she goes. She says, I go. <gasps> Oh, Andrew, that's not good. Yeah, you definitely have either sleep that apnea. or I'm a hog in my sleep. Mm, it Maybe could be I'm both. Dr- yeah. I wonder. Do this is a ridiculous question, but <laughs> could anyone let us know, like, if you're thin and healthy, do you have sleep apnea, or because it seems like mostly overweight. What are you unhealthy. saying? No, you can have. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> are you saying I'm a fat piece of shit? I think, no, I mean you're you're you're. <laughs> I retract the question. I don't want anyone to call in with that answer. I really don't give a shit, to be honest with you. Please don't call in if you have information on that. We can just like look it up. I'm sorry, Anya. Please, but like, let I, me Google it. Or just tweet at us. But I think that, yeah, one cure, not cure, but one way to alleviate it 
is to like lose weight or something. But yeah. I think that it just could be a thing that you have. You should go get a, a sleep well, test. Well, yesterday for lunch and breakfast, I had uh, oh, ch- God, fried I chicken. Care. I'm just saying, I ate very poorly, so maybe it affected how I was sleeping. Um, okay, yeah, that I could don't be know. It. And I Do had pizza drink? for dinner. Huh? I don't drink at oh, all. Yeah, funny. drinking can be a problem with that too. But... I know. I got to be healthier. I'm starting to drink diet cokes instead of coffee. I'm a mess, you know. That's not. Is that supposed to be a good thing that you're it's, doing? No, it's a bad thing. Apparently. Oh, right, right. Apparently, yeah. diet coke's worse for eating coffee. Well, it has caffeine in it, so you're not avoiding caffeine. Although, here's the thing about coffee. I'm on. Um, I'm trying to quit coffee eventually. I'm weaning myself off. It's not something that you can just go cold turkey on. Like you suffer headaches and. Like it's it's a it's a weird addiction that I'm getting into now and studying because I'm following this subreddit um, called decaf that's all about people trying to quit coffee, and it's like it's gnarly, dude. It's a different kind of addiction than one that I've dealt with before, and I'm not sure that I want to go completely off it. I'd like to have coffee here and there to like treat myself and to like if I really need it to wake up. I'm doing a huge press tour or something. I'd like it to be a treat. Anyway, um, decaf coffee has caffeine in it. Also, you can't trust that a lot of coffee is not decaffeinated because a lot of t- I also follow the Starbucks subreddit, <laughs> and when people are asking for decaf, they're sometimes getting served uh, calf. It's oh. like they it's it's willy nilly. What about substituting uh, tea for here's coffee? Here's the thing about coffee, just real quick, is that oh. you you might it might not be the caffeine that's making you have anxiety and all the things that coffee and. and uh, causes because a lot of people switch to decaf and still suffer those side effects and it's not from the caffeine it's from an allergy to coffee beans so the histamines histamines allergies can cause all of these kind of um, symptoms and it's n- just not coffee so you could switch to a different caffeine and not have the uh, same problems that you do with I think coffee. I have that yeah. yeah when I would, was drinking coffee every day I was having tons of anxiety wild hunger swings depression, I couldn't sleep, and then I switched to decaf for a few months and it sort of helped. But then I was still, I I got a weird smell, like a weird body odor I didn't like. Do you notice when you pee after coffee, it just smells really acidic? I wouldn't notice because that's just the way my pee is. Like my pee is only coffee. <laughs> like I don't a fresh drink. brew, I, I drink like so. a slow drip, or <laughs> yeah. it's a blonde roast. <laughs> God damn it! You you beat me to it. I That's mean, I wasn't so even good, gonna dude. get there, but I was trying to think of some coffee analogy. That was good on you. That was real good. But I switched to tea, and I'm great. But I'm fully addicted. What kind to of tea? tea? I drink black tea, like English breakfast. So not breakfast. green tea. Oh, great. No, green tea makes me nuts. I get heart palpitations from green See, tea. But black this, tea has caffeine? Yeah. Yes. But These kind of things reason, happen to me, so maybe I should go black tea. Try it. I mean, okay. I found the one that yeah, works for me. Yeah, switch around. Yeah, I'll I switch have, around. I don't have the weird depression. Like, I got serious depression from coffee. Like, weird thoughts. Like, I hate this town. I hate my friends. This was when I wasn't in New York, but you know okay. what I mean? Okay, Jesus. I got <laughs> yeah. nervous there. I hate people named Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> that was before she knew me, though. Yeah, yeah that's before I she quit coffee. I changed her way of thinking about <laughs> I never knew anything. Have you ever hated someone just based on their, like, hated a name? Yes. Like, just anyone oh. with this name, you're like, bad news. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I have like one. Chad or something. Well, that's a classic. One. I know. Oh, I was so but, mad at myself. But there's the other a reason night. why it's classic. You I know? was on stage and I made like a joke about a white guy and I said like I went to Chad and I was disgusted I with myself. Well, I feel disgusted. bad. Disgusted. <laughs> why? Because it's just such an easy. It's like it's it's hack to be like Chad or like. Karen, Tiffany, Karen, Karen, Tiffany. It's all kind of hack. I'm, I'm not going to say Heather McMahon is hack because she does Karen, and I think she's got Karen, and no one can take Karen from her. But, like, if you just, like, I don't know. It's just an easy way to make fun of a white person's name. Let's try yeah. harder. Okay, Corey. sad. Corey's good. Corey's no. good. Corey isn't here today. Corey is usually one of our. Corey's is he in gone San forever? Diego. Oh, he's just okay. Okay, good. Scott. A guy he didn't named, die. A guy yeah. named Scott yeah. could be annoying. Scott, it's, I, I have Scott in my act. I say, um, uh, there was. I go. Oh, it was my half hour for Comedy Central when I talk about a guy coming and like how they turn into a demon, and I'm like, "Where's Scott? Bring back Scott!" <laughs> like, cause Scott suddenly disappeared. I love, I love Tony, the guy in oh, your yeah, porno. Oh yeah, Tony. It's it late. There's so many. Jasper or not Jasper? <laughs> Jasper. Oh, yeah. Jasper. Jasper's a name I got from Raya. I as soon as I saw the name Jasper, I was like, I'm writing that down. I also got another thing from Raya that I wrote down. Um, well, there's certain names you can't like hate, like. Because then it'll come off racist or or whatever. Oh yeah, that's true. So we you have gotta the white like privilege. you can't be like I hate all DeAndre's. You can't yeah, do that. That would be weird. Yeah, 
You, Although I did meet a white girl named uh, Deann Deandria. Oh, okay, so we and can I hate really that. didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, let's hate her. I did. I didn't care. Just for her, that. you hate her. Oh my God, there was a really annoying pronunciation. Oh, oh, this is mean. But um, okay, so I went into a wormhole last night. Do you guys know about Chris Watts? No. Does anyone in the room know about Chris Watts? Mm -mm -mm. Like, okay, he murdered his whole family last August. Not this past August, but the August before. On accident. No, 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 dude. Oh. oh, it's so, like, honestly, look it up on YouTube. It came up on my, like, suggested YouTubes. This guy, I mean. What did he do? I know everyone's, list, like, interested in murder. No one's not. This isn't, like, making anyone really sad. But it is sad. So this guy, last August, I mean, it is making people sad. Well, I don't, shut up, Nikki. Okay, so <laughs> I went down a wormhole on YouTube last night because it was, like, studying Chris Watts's um, confession just to like show that he was lying because he ev eventually confessed to it. But at first he just, he was so stupid, dude. He he killed his wife and his two children who were like three, two and three or something like awful wow. like that. Wow, they were born close. Girls. I know, it was like they were very young and, and you know. They would have been uh, in the same grade. Irish twins or whatever they call it. Um, and so... He, he murdered them because he had a, a side thing and he was going through a separation and she mentioned divorce and he snapped and he murdered her. At first he goes, I don't know what happened to him. I came home from work and they're not here. And he just gets kind of, you see the body cams of the police officers as they're interviewing him when they first get to his house and they're, he's like, I don't know where. And then in hindsight, this video is like, pointing out all the signs that he's lying. He's pacing back and forth. He keeps texting when really you would make be making calls to your mom and your yeah. dad. You wouldn't be texting, but he was texting so he would avoid eye contact with the cops who were asking him questions. He, when he was doing interviews, he was holding himself, which is like a self-soothing technique, and he, he was rocking back hand. and forth. <laughs> he had blood all over him. <laughs> see, that was... Um, <laughs> This is the fourth thing. On These the are list. things that you see he later. He was holding on. the dead bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyways, but it's sensitive. Yeah. Go. So then, he, so he said that then they eventually. Oh, there's a great moment where the neighbor comes over and he's like, the he Chris leaves a room to make a call and the neighbor is talking to the cops and this is all body cam footage so it looks like it's, he doesn't know what cameras on him. He's like, man, he's acting weird. This guy does not talk that much. He doesn't fidget like this. Something's going on. Oh. He's a weirdo. Oh. I hear screaming late at night. Something's up. Then the the neighbor fucking has surveillance footage of him loading things into his truck. Oh. And then he also said that his wife left at some point. They never see a wife leave, right? Although the alibi could be she went out the back. There was a back exit that wouldn't have been caught on footage. However... Oh. This guy has footage of this guy loading in mm. bodies, essentially, into this car. And you see the moment where Chris Watts realizes, like... like I'm on camera. You, well, no, that... Oh. that yeah, like, they, they show the footage. They're watching the footage of the security camera in Chris Watts' <laughs> living room. And the cops are just standing there. They're all around the TV like they're watching a football game. And you just see him, like, realize, like, oh, no, I'm fucked. Like, they just... Mm. I don't know why he thought he ever got away with this. He, um... But then he lied and said that his wife killed the kids. And then he was so mad at his wife that he strangled her. So he admitted to murdering her. And then he's like, but she did it to the kids. And then it turns out he did it to the whole thing. But what Whoa. this was all getting about, which feels really indecent <laughs> to mention at this point, the wife's name. <laughs> Karen. It's it's really a, a dumb name. Oh. It's like Shannon. It's Shannon with a oh. an apostrophe. Is it Shan Shannon? Shanana. Sh Sh Shanon. I don't know how they keep saying it in the thing, but How's I can't. How's it spelled? How's it spelled? S H A N apostrophe A N N. Yeah, you can't put an apostrophe. Shannon. It was Shannon. Okay. Here come those Shannon wins again. <laughs> I hated the name. Shan -na 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 -na. Listen, that doesn't mean that I am like. Condo I, I don't mean to make fun. It just reminded me of a bad name that I heard, and I go, where did I hear that? And then it unleashed this <laughs> awful story. No one can ever name their child Shanann now. Um. Yeah. They. Well, who would want to? Yeah. Now, good. It's. It's. The name is. Is ruined. You can't just put an apostrophe wherever you want. My yes, mom you can. named me after a poet, a Russian poet who committed suicide. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, my middle. Foreshadowing. Name. Yeah. My parents named me after a black poet. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Foreshadowing. A black poet. Nikki. Yeah, Nikki Giovanni.
Really? Yeah, yeah. She's a black poet. She's a really prolific, famous black poet. That's so cool. I never. I know. Knew that well, they about didn't you. like read her poetry. They just like I think my dad like saw her name once and was just like, "That's a cool name." <laughs> he never read the poetry. I don't if you think were a so. Boy, you would have been Giovanni. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have been or cool. Or Nick, probably. Maybe Nick. <laughs> I like how you say probably. Jews are just named after dead grandpas or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Dad. Or something. I'm, yeah, I'm named after Grandpa Allen, I think, or something. Allen? Maybe Uncle Allen. Andrew? Uncle Al. <laughs> it, no, it has to start with the letter, but it can't be the same name. Oh, that's lazy. Because Jews can't have juniors. Well, juniors is more lazy than that. I'm a junior. I'm Anya the fourth. My mom's Anya the third. But you're not. A, I don't think girls can be juniors. Wait, how are you named Why after the dead poet? Why can't girls be juniors? Or the dead? Well, Marine, Marina Tsvetaeva committed oh. suicide, and I'm Anya Marina. Marina is my middle name. Oh, okay. That is so cool. <laughs> it I would is, love right? to be named after someone who committed suicide. Nikki Giovanni, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably been dead for like 30 years. Please take your own life to that. <laughs> Wait, I want to. Uh, is she dead? Noah, will you look her up? Grandpa Al killed himself. Who? So. No. no, I don't. Oh my no. god, Andrew! Oh my god, I think there's tons of suicide up in my family tree. Uh, that <laughs> they fell off. Yeah, yeah. That, I think someone had a. Oh, I mean, Lizzie Cooperman has a joke that her family tree has so much suicide it's just all nooses. Oh, oh. man, <laughs> from the tree. Yeah. Lizzie Cooperman's grandmother. This is no joke. She's been on the show a bunch. Killed herself by drinking perfume. Whoa, wow. she smelled good. Glamorous. Yeah, when they go. and then they said when they cream, she said when they cremated her, they had a nice little uh, thing of potpourri for, yeah. the, for the dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lizzie's joke. Isn't Wait, that hilarious? That would take so long though. What? To, to, to kill yourself by perfume. Well, think about there are some ways to kill yourself that are so gnarly that you're just like, why would you choose that? But it's like it's just a way of going out that says something, you know, like and. People get so desperate in those times that she probably didn't have anything else to swallow, and she's like, "Oh, this is a terrible." Th you know what I mean? I wouldn't even think of that. Like, I think this should probably just seven. clean. I like the idea of her alcohol. like being tired of being a woman and just being like, "Well, what's the best way to yeah. show that?" Yeah, like drinking perfume. Yeah, or like you know. Yeah, I bet you're gonna down some Axe body spray. Just spray it in your <laughs> mouth until the can's empty, <laughs> and then finally get a date. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! No, it's um. What was I just about to say about the uh, suicide, suicide in your family? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I forgot. You find out later. Like, I don't. My family. I didn't know my grandma had like mental health or had breast cancer or like all these things. Like, I had everyone my has mental health, by the way. Yeah, you but just didn't her, finish that. Sentence. Yeah, yeah. She has mental health. <laughs> What grade it is, who knows? Oh. It's an A it, no, for bad. Uh, it's not good. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I don't know. Grading so your grading? mental health. Like, grading it. Like he's saying <laughs> she got a bad grade in mental health. Oh. Like, oh, like health, health class? No, like a health, like a store, like a restaurant. <laughs> we got there. No, we didn't. I'm we, still lost. We're all there. I don't know where this store is, where it pops up. Is street. it a pop-up? Yeah, it's a pop-up store. Oh, okay. Yeah, this yeah. Small story business gets, Sunday? This story gets a C. Garage sale. God, I'm glad Bre Black Friday is over because I don't want to buy- Cyber Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Cyber Monday, everyone. Um, Yeah, it's weird when like things emerge. My dad was like going through so many old photos the other night before on Thanksgiving, and he was just- because he just got a bunch of things scanned and like- loaded into his phone it's just like i just was looking at so many images of my ancestors and i i gotta be honest like some of it i cared about like if they were like close enough to me but like i don't really care yeah, is that okay a, to not care you don't have to care about your lineage i my dad every wants picture me to care looks so bad. like the same they're all in like three suits. I like seeing my dad as a little kid. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like an old old picture. They're I can't all believe like how much they had to wear. They know, have like vests. five pictures and they're all the same. Petticoats and little vests. <laughs> Your grandpa on top could of be it, my an umbrella. Yeah, yeah. A, a wagon. There were so many layers. <laughs> Why weren't they more efficiently dressed back then? Like I feel like because you needed it a gives bunch me anxiety. of anxiety. You needed a bunch of layers to take off to put on because they didn't have a lot to choose from probably. So you get what? one suit, you could have so many options of if it's, if it's cold, if it's hot, you right. still look good in a button-down. They button all look down. like they're, dr they're dressing to go on Spirit Airlines and they don't want to <laughs> check a bag. <laughs> so they just decide to wear their whole outfit yeah. for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and in Russia, nobody smiled. Do they smile in your pictures? No, yeah, they yeah. don't do that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, very serious. Why, well, let's bring that back. What? 
Agreed. Well, that Just do you know why that got started? Sand? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Do you know why? Um, because back in the olden days, and this might this might be wrong, but I think it's right, is that people <laughs> didn't smile because it took so long to take a picture. The you would have to stand there and wait a while because the exposure was like maybe a minute sometimes. I don't know how long it was, but it's harder oh. to maintain yeah. a smile than it is to just sit with nothing. That makes sense. So it's just easier. And um, Man, that's, yeah. we're learning a lot today. Are what we? else? Did, yeah, what yeah. else did we learn? I, 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 I found Shannon. I, I learned something. Shannon. <laughs> oh, poor Shannon. <laughs> oh, my God. We were at dinner the other night with Sarah Lena, and she told us she dated a guy for three months, and then he introduced her to her friends <laughs> as Sarah Ann. She's like, my name's Sarah Lena. <laughs> He's like, it is? He'd been calling her Sarah Ann for three months. He had just avoided <laughs> ever saying yeah, her name. Yeah, ever saying it. Because we were talking to someone who doesn't know. Oh, I think one of our friends is sleeping with this girl and doesn't know how to pronounce her name at all. Like, met yeah. her on Instagram and has no idea. So he's like, what do I say? What do I do? And oh, he, he just keeps calling her, her honey he... and sweetie and stuff like that. Oh, because she has a, uh, it's like a, a code name or whatever? You don't know where Instagram. the accent is. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. You wouldn't know how it's to pronounce it's like Honey Bee thirteen or something. No, no, no. It's like her name is like. No, no, I get that, but I'm saying on Instagram she doesn't have a real name. No, no, no. It is her real name. He doesn't know how to pronounce it. Oh, <laughs> and it's too yeah. late now because his penis has like probably been in her asshole. If you know who I'm talking about, Sarah Ann. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come again? Oh man, call back. Oh man, Sarah Lena and I the other night, dude. It was so funny. So we found ourselves at this thing. I go to a super secret thing, and I uh, and it was a, a, a form of this super secret thing where I didn't know, but it was only for um, a lesbian women or like transgendered lesbian, like um, LGBTQ. You start lesbian with a G there. What? Lesbian. <laughs> you go gay, lesbian. Gay and lesbian. I was oh. about to say gay, but lesbian is what. <laughs> that's her last name. That's now. my last. Yeah. Jack- <laughs> Nikki. Lesbian. Jackie. Giovanni. <laughs> And I went to this thing, and um, and we we were supposed to be gay at it, and we didn't no, know. Were. No, dude, we d- we were supposed to oh, be gay. Okay, like you were supposed to be gay at this thing. Okay, and so we one of us was talking. <laughs> Sarah Lena was talking, and she was sharing something about a guy in her life, but she just kind of smoothed over <laughs> that he was a man. She's just like. So I'm dealing with this person, and she she just kind of like, she wouldn't say he, she was just like, so, the being, like, she just like, like, it was so obvious. It was really, really funny, and afterwards she was like, did I do okay? And I was like, you sounded like you were having a seizure in the middle of that to avoid. This isn't for epileptics, it's just for, you can just... (laughs) That's what they is for. Yeah, yeah, pronouns. Oh man. Oh man. My um. Yeah. Although, I will say that drives me crazy. I've gotten better at this, but like I remember even just two years ago, somebody that I was talking one year ago, somebody I was dating said they had dated an actor, and I was like, "Is he gay?" And then I realized, no, actor can imbi- can represent right. both genders. Right. So I'm like coming along. Or when somebody would say partner, like Ugh. when I lived oh. in Portland seven years ago, I was like, oh, they're gay. But now it doesn't, I don't think that at all. I just think, okay, that means. Or I think business life. partner. Like I just, when I, when I hear partner, I think gay or business. It's not anymore. But. I know it isn't. <laughs> I know it isn't. Andrew, do you have a partner now? My partner and I fought last uh, night. I don't have a partner, but she's cool. Mm. I don't know. She came up. Andrew Collins visited. here, everyone. Anya Marina and Andrew Collins are here. It's Monday, so Anya's always here. Andrew Collins um, Long is, is single, yeah. but he uh, he met a girl a couple weeks ago, I would say almost a month ago in Philadelphia when we were there. Um, she came to a show. She was, was she the one that was the first? Yes. Okay, so one night we were doing, <laughs> every, every time we go into, we play Bachelor. And yeah. it's a really fun game for me. I hope you guys come out to see us on tour because we'll. I hope we continue it. I hope Andrew doesn't get into a relationship. I won't. I promise. Okay, good. Not till May. Okay, great. So uh, while we're on tour, and I solicit women to um, DM Andrew if they want to hook up. And I tell them what it is. Like, he's not looking for a relationship. This is just a one and done thing. He'll treat you really well. He'll text you the next day. Like, he's not going to mistreat you. He's not going to do anything you don't want to do sexually. Like, he's a good guy. Um, sli- like, you can slide into his DMs. If 
usually I don't like you on my on your phone at my shows, but like if you prove to your server that you're DMing Andrew, like it will be permitted. <laughs> um, and then at the end of the show, I go backstage and I get off stage, and generally I'm just like, Andrew is just in his phone because he is getting so many DMs. Really? Um, in Philadelphia yeah. at this one show, 11, yeah. he chose oh. one of the 11. That's one why I'm lucky. calling it the yeah. shitty bachelor. It is. It's like the most, it's the worst version of The Bachelor, but it's because it's the off season of The Bachelor, I get to like make my own. And we go through them. He shows us pictures. I don't understand his choosing at all. Not that the girl you chose was not who I would have chosen, but like there are sometimes where he's like, not this girl. And I'm like, what? What could be wrong with her? I don't understand. Like it bothers me so much because, She's but gorgeous. I do the same thing with men. Where it's like yeah. his eye looks weird. You know what I mean? Yes. It comes down to that. But he chose this girl. I don't have girl. much time to choose. I got The time is ticking. That's why it's such oh. a fun bachelor. Because it's I only got 30 minutes. I got to make a decision. Because they're Dude. probably But then there's the out. late show, huh? Because they're probably hanging out and waiting. Is that why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's getting late. Because I get out of there at 12. They're yeah, going right. to get tired. I'm getting tired. I have sleep apnea. I got nothing. You know. <laughs> yeah. I, and so now I got to make a decision. I got an hour to kill. 20, you know, it's like an episode of 24. It really is a fascinating <laughs> thing that I would like to document while we're on the road because it's it's so interesting because I get off stage and my friend Andrew, who is generally like this bubbly, like always making jokes, always lighthearted. Like Andrew seriously is such a great companion on the road because he's always in a good mood. Always. He's always like doing some kind of dance. If he's having ang- <laughs> his anxiety is like gone away since he's taken Zoloft, so he doesn't annoy me in that way anymore. He's just fun. He's always fun. He always keeps it light. I'm like a dog. No Except... panic attacks anymore at all? No, not really. It's just amazing. sleep apnea now. Okay. He sometimes gets a little coffee. like <clears throat> Yeah, but that's yeah. the apnea. It's a wake apnea. Yeah, yeah, you have a wake apnea. <laughs> Before he goes on stage, he tends to like clear his throat a lot and have to go take shits like over and over and pee, 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 pee. And so that's annoying to me because yeah. sometimes we have a guest set and I don't know the person and Ari is on stage hosting. I'm alone in the green room with the guest set because Andrew has to go shit for like five <laughs> minutes before he goes like right up until he's on stage. Yeah. So that can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> for sure. But listen, if that's the most annoying thing about being on the road with you, well, then I'm going to get rid of you pretty soon. Yeah. Because it is. It is annoying and you need to address it. I'm going to um, try. I'll, I'll plug kidding. my ass. I'll plug my ass. I w- I've been. You I'll, take, get, I'll take a modium. I'll have something to help with that. I'll take a modium. Oh, you got a butt plug recently? Oh boy, pleading the fifths. That's a yes. Are you pleading the fifths? Not recently. It was a long time ago. She got a a kit. I I, a kit. Yeah. A starter (laughs) kit. Yeah, to train yourself to put things in your ass. What do you start with? A matchbox car or something? Yeah, something small. The wheels are painful, but yeah. (laughs) But when it's on, yeah. (laughs) You can't borrow it, but. What do you start with? Like a little I, plug? I just think you should go to the regular restroom that all the people go to, not the green room. Agreed, but then that's annoying because now I have, you know, three or four fans and they're all over me. The women? When I walk out. All the guys? Okay, yeah. got it. You love that. It's nice. Yeah, okay. So, but anyway, I come backstage and Andrew, I've never seen horny, like, um, oh. I've never seen horny Andrew. Right. Like, that's not our vibe. I've never gotten, like, it's never shifted when men, I talked, like what I was just saying, uh, the joke about, where did Scott go? Bring back Scott from my bit about the first time I had sex, I was terrified at how this person I had been hanging out with all night, as soon as he was, like, wanting to have sex and got horny and, like, we were about to have sex, he turned into a different person and it was, like, almost like I couldn't get through to him. Like, I was just like, where did you go? Like, there's no sense of humor anymore. And that was Andrew. And it wasn't just horniness, though. It was the urgency of having to find make a decision. But he, like, there's this one video where I put, I just go, Andrew's backstage going through his DMs. I'm trying to make, like, a light, fun video. And he looks up, and you can see, like, his yeah. eyes are, like, black. <laughs> there's, like, no life to be had. He is just, tr- men get, and it, for me, it's, like, very, I realize it's, like, triggering for me because, it's almost like they get drunk and I don't they change and I don't get comfortable when people change rapidly like their personality. So for me I had to be like oh my god this is really like it was weird to see that happen to a man in that I'm friends with in a room. Like I've never seen my male friend get horny. It's kind of right? like when like a a fun dog, like a cheerful dog gets a bone and he's like <sighs> 
you know, kind of like, uh, exactly. yeah, 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 a yeah. little ferocious. Yeah. Oh, it, I didn't even know that was in there. Change. Intense. Yeah. yeah. And just like <laughs> not to be messed with. Like, yeah, don't it was mess just with like, me. I'm doing business right now. So that night you chose. Uh, yes. A young lass. A young lassie. <laughs> lass. <laughs> We're going back to the dog analogy. You yeah. chose the bone you chose that night. Yeah. Well, it was a good bone, a young bone. Yeah, uh, you had a lot of fun with that bone. You hooked up with her that night. Yeah, bone the bone. You had sex that night? Oh, we don't have to talk about that, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, did you use a condom? So we don't have to talk about that, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Anya? Uh, no. She I... pulled out. Oh. <laughs> her taser. Okay, so... You hooked up the bad boy. You hooked up on a Friday night. Saturday, she yeah. came back over for mm-hmm. a little afternoon delight. Mm-hmm. So basically, broke the rule that you had said in the beginning. It's going to be one and done. It was, so it was two and done. Yes. Right. Well, was, I just didn't well, want these girls to get the idea that he's going to leave his life and like move right. to wherever they are. I see. I want to set them up for like the worst thing that can happen. Unless which is, they're like, a bigger like, comedian than you. Right. And then I can move. Finally. Exactly. Yeah. But that probably won't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if Whitney Cummings decides to- To go to your show. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then DM you during my show. All right. (laughs) Then so be it. Could happen. Thank you so much for watching that clip that you just watched. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. If you did, thumbs up it. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you just keep watching more videos? Let them play. Share with your friends. Go share on your Instagram story. Go just have a great day.